Given two functions, f of x equals x squared plus 4x, and g of x equals x plus 2, we're asked to find f g of x and f g of negative 5. Well, we need to understand the notation. This is an algebra of functions. When we write down f g of x, that's indicating we're going to be multiplying the two functions together. That is, we're going to have f of x multiplied times g of x. So let's write down our expression for f of x, which is x squared plus 4x. We want to multiply that times our expression for g of x, which is x plus 2. Let's go ahead and do that multiplication. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 2 is going to be 2x squared. Plus, we end up with 4x times x, which is 4x squared, plus 4x times 2, which is 8x. We can combine our like terms to get our simplified result of x cubed plus 6x squared plus 8x. So this is the expression for fg of x. We're now asked to find fg of negative 5. Well, one way to do that is to take what we just found for the function fg and substitute in negative 5. That is, we'll have negative 5 cubed plus 6 times negative 5 squared plus 8 times negative 5. Negative 5 cubed is a negative 125. We'll have plus 6 times negative 5 squared is 25, plus, and here we have 8 times negative 5, which is negative 40. Let's simplify further. That gives us negative 125 plus 6 times 25 is 150, and then minus 40. Combining gives us negative 125 plus 150, which is 25, and 25 minus 40 is equal to a negative 15. Now notice that we could alternatively have found that product fg of negative 5 by taking f of negative 5 and multiplying it times g of negative 5, which means we're going to substitute back into the original functions. f of negative 5 would have been negative 5 squared, which would be 25, plus 4 times negative 5, which is minus 20. We then multiply that times negative 5 plus 2. So here we're going to have 5 times a negative 3, which confirms our result of negative 15.